This afternoon, a subway rider is recovering in the hospital after being attacked in transit. He has his friend's pepper spray and her quick actions to thank since things, since things could have been a heck of a lot worse. CBS News' John Diaz has more on the incident and explains how transit crime is up. A scaled up police presence in plain sight during Thursday morning's commute at the 72nd subway stop after a late night stabbing, one that has sent even more shockwaves around the city. I do work the night shift sometimes too, so I take the train in like the middle of the night. Uh, I see unbelievable things sometimes. Police say around 11 Wednesday night, a man and a woman were riding on a northbound number two train together when an unknown man got into a fight with them, exchanging words. Then he pulled out a sharp object. Object and stabbed the 26-year-old man in the finger and leg. The victim's female friend then used pepper spray to fight off the attacker who jumped off the subway at the 72nd stop. But the fact that this woman found it in her will to, you know, break up a fight, I have like so much admiration and respect yeah. for her. The victim is now recovering safely in a hospital. While certain crimes citywide, like shooting incidents, are down compared to this time last year, according to the NY. PD's latest data, transit crime is up around 41 percent with about 530 more cases. Since the pandemic, it's been like a little bit uh, crazier than normal on the yeah. subway. But is it the mayor's fault for the increase in transit crime? Depends on which New Yorker you ask. They're torn. I feel like our mayor's not doing enough, and I feel like we need more trans, more cops in transit, not just standing up here watching people. They need to be downstairs. I believe, I believe he's doing the best he can in the situation he's been given. It's tough. He's got a tough job. New York City's a tough city. Police tell us that after the stabbing, the suspect then hopped on another subway and is still on the loose. From the Upper West Side, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Well, the city has been working to install surveillance cameras on every subway car as part of a new safety initiative. It's still unclear if one was installed on the subway car where the stabbing occurred.